Okay, uh, this is part two of, uh, you could say, your early advanced primate time varieties we're going to have for you for next spring. Uh, the very first one we're going to be talking about is the hydrangeas. This is the um, proven winner and the plant to work series. Uh, these are mostly located over there in SA and S9. Uh, the things, these are some of the things Jeff does to prepare them uh, for you for next spring. The uh, very first thing we do is uh, uh, they will be kept in a minimum of 30 degrees uh, during the course of the winter. Uh, from uh, mid mid February, from the mid to February, uh, 12 weeks prior to Mother's Day, uh, Jeff will have the crew uh, turn the temps up to 64 degrees. Now, uh, one thing you really need to keep in mind when I say this, the forecast release date is the last week of April. When we say forecast, this is all subject because of the weather. So keep that in mind. You can don't use that as a, you know, the final thing that they said we're promising this. Just keep that in mind. These are just forecasted, um, and we are subject to the weather. Uh, like I said, now the natural season hydrangeas will be put into the spring bucket, and they will not be released until new growth is present. Now, all natural season hydrangeas will be trimmed with uh, have a light trim on them um, prior to shipping. Now, the reason why we're not releasing hydrangeas early, prior before, if you remember, we want to make sure that they are showing low, new life and new growth before we release them release them because we don't want to release them and then find out later on that they would they not come through because of a winter damage. So we're just trying to head that off. Um, but like I said, this is the proven winner and plant the work series. As you can see the picture samples, we got them all set up and ready for next spring. Next picture, please. Now, these are the hydrangea series we have, you know, the summer crush, the blushings, the uh, in the summers. But the two new main varieties I got up here right now is basically the crush and the endless summers. These are the same as we were doing with the prime of time. Uh, they will be uh, put in the minimum of 30 degrees uh, from mid to uh, February. Uh, and 12 weeks, once again, prior to Mother's Day, temps will be turned up uh, the 36 to 38 degrees. Like I said, that's subject to change. Uh, but like I said, uh, their forecast release for these varieties also is the last week of April. The same as going on with the plants. Uh, Proven winner and the plants that works. Next picture, please. Next here is the Budleys. Uh, Budleys um, temps will be turned up the first week of March. Temps will be set at 64 to 68 degrees with a forecast release date on um, the last week, also uh, last week of April. Um, all these Budleys will be trimmed prior from turning um, um, from turning up the heat. So they will trim them first. And then he will uh, turn up the heat for these Fridays. As you may know, Budley is part a lot of heat to come out of that dormant stage. So we're going to keep these in the minimum heat areas in these houses, and we turn the degrees, turn the temperature up around the uh, in in March. So, uh, but like I said, as you can see, we already got crop all set and we're ready for spring. Next picture, please. Now, echinaceas, uh, the new candy echinaceas will arrive and will be canned in February. Uh, the temps will be turned up to 68 to 70 degrees. Uh, and now, uh, like I said, within, and the release date for that will be, what's that, March? In the May. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, we will get these Fridays in. He will can them during, of course, the, uh, going on to the late winter. And, um, this is our stock what we had of last year. Uh, he's got a really good schedule on how he's got this, and he's got to get understanding. But you can see the end results of that. You have nicer space and some really great, great prime time varieties waiting for you um, by the uh, by May, and mid week to mid mid May to end of May. Like I said, uh, please keep in mind these are forecasts of we're, we're subject to the weather, so we'll see what happens. It may be early, it might be a little bit later. So, so please keep that in mind. Next picture, please. Now, the Helleborus, this is one that's really actually the opposite compared, compared to everything else we've been doing. Instead of turning up the heat for Helleborus, uh, Jeff will have the crew, uh, when, as soon as they come back from their, uh, from their winter break, uh, they would take these Helleborus and they would put them in the cooler. Uh, now, the thing about the Helleborus is the variety, this is a variety that it wants, it's already going into bud and bloom. So what we're going to do is we're going to be slowing this variety down. Uh, it will be moving these in around the uh, early March. And like I said, uh, these, the Helleborus now, they will be in current. So it is up to you to keep in track because one thing we have to really be careful of, uh, even though this is a variety that blooms in the late winter, 
Uh, we still have to watch out nighttime temperatures. Uh, usually, Jeff wants to make sure that you also customer knows that you too. The nighttime temperatures need to be at least 34 degrees above um, to be having this, or make sure they're well protected. Um, so that's one thing I keep it to, um, in, uh, in mind when it comes to all the So, uh, like I said, these will put me in cooler to cool down and just watch your nighttime temps. Next picture, please. Okay, chick charms. Uh, um, this right here, these basically, this is the, we already got some of this crop already in, which is nice. Uh, they would be this course like chick charms, they're zone four to zone nine. They'll get two inches to two inches, uh, three inches in height, uh, six to eight inches in width. Uh, these will be in your 3.5 uh, little quarts, and then they will be in flats of 18. We have a total of 11 varieties. The variety of this called Apatina is one of the, this the one variety that would be shared in both um, flats. As you can see, that picture that's on the right. Uh, this is a prime example of what the flats would be look like. We have two mixes. We have an A mix and a B mix. Uh, but both of them will all have their um, um, the good thing about this. We have a wide range of varieties of colors for this. They'll be green, variegated, silver, red, pink, purple, and yellow. Like I said, this we already got this crop in right now, so we'll be uh, really set for you for next spring. Next picture, please. Now the nooks and crannies, nooks and crannies are scheduled to be arrived in mid to uh, mid February to the end of February. Uh, the finish date for these will be in the end to mid April. And this is the crop that we're. This crop is still coming in. We still got a lot of this right. It's not here yet, but they um, that once when they were arrived, we will go ahead and put these on uh, move them into Great Plains. Uh, this this is another variety right here that. Uh, Jeff usually has the crew that can during the course of the winter. And there should be the, the release date for this is from mid to end, um, mid to the end of April. Uh, nighttime temps of this, you want to keep in mind, you want 38 degrees above. So when it comes to when, when that's the selling for selling these varieties, and also too, you want to make sure your customers know this so they have them well protected. Uh, on the very last, uh, uh, go ahead to the next tab. On this right here, these are varieties that aren't, whether well, you guys saw it in the virtual, these are varieties that we're going to have for you for the next, or, well, next spring. Uh, the ones in virtual are the varieties that we're going to receive within February. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, the ones we have that's already green, these are varieties we already have here right now. They're already in Great Plains. It's like as soon as I get these, more we got them in, we'll just start loading these into Great Plains. And Jeff has been looking at for the numbers and see that if there were some varieties that we were showing on, he may have added some more. So you will see some fluctuation when it comes to these uh, uh, these quantities. So just also, as I hear, this is just a list so your customers who know that this is varieties we're going to have for you. That you can let them know that this is if they weren't interested. We have all these varieties right here. 